Hi, this is David Golly from Pentagon Solutions and we're taking a look at AutoCAD MEP 2012. And what I'd like to take a look at is creating a custom part or a custom multi-view block in MEP. You can see in here that I have a 3D solid of a ground floss uh, pump. Um, I've taken this information uh, from the website as you can see, so it's specific manufacturer detail that I want to bring in. I created it as a block but I need to add physical intelligence to it so I can use it in MEP and attach pipes to it. So I'm going to go into my content builder which is on the manage tab and I'm going to create a new chapter. This is the best way to do this, it's quite advisable if it's a custom parts so it keeps it separate from your AutoCAD standard MEP parts. I'm going to say custom pumps. So I've got my new chapter in here and I'm going to hit new block part. So this is a series 2000 pump so I'm just going to type in Gunforce series 2000. Let it populate the description and I can stand, extend on it a bit more from website and hit OK. Next I would actually look at the pump itself, the category. So it's picked up pump, it's got the layer key pump Again, we've decided what the subtype is. This is a magnet circulator in here. Um, so what I'm just going to pick um, the closest in here. And we have an option as well for whether the family automatically breaks into existing runs. Well, in this case, it's not a valve. Um, it's not going to anchor. I'm going to, going to take pipe work from it. So I'm not going to accept these options. And I'm going to hit next. Next, we add the part size. So if we have different sizes of pump or different connections, we would have multiple blocks. I only have one, so my model block is my ground force pump. And I can give it my name, I'm going to say 65mm, because that's my connection. Again, if we had a symbol that represented a 2D plan, we can actually select that in here. Um, I don't in this case. And we have an option to actually generate blocks as well so it will actually generate various blocks of um, north, south, east, west views whether we're in section and again these can be physically changed and they can be changed whether they're representing one line or two line uh, construction so we can see in here we can actually change the, the various options um, I'm going to leave it at this stage I'm just going to hit cancel but it has created the various view blocks for me so you can see my bottom front left has created all my views I'm just going to cancel out that and go to next. So I have my 3D pump, I have my various section views. Um, we can generate an image of it, I want a preview image. Um, I can generate it from the block, I don't want to do this. In this occasion I'm actually going to take it from an image that I've got from the website. So on my desktop I have a wee bitmap that has the logo um, and I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to go to next. This is the key bit in here. We want to add the physical connectors. I need to say that it's got an inlet and an outlet for the pipe connection. So when we right click, we can see that we can add in pipe duct conduit or cable tray. I'm going to go to pipe connector. I'm going to tell it its flow is in, and we can tell it its system type. In this case, I could say this is cold water. Again, we can have an engagement length, we can have a maximum angle of deflection and say whether it's unsized, it's true or false. I'm going to keep that as is. I'm going to add an out connector in. So I'm going to say that's the out. Again, I'm going to say cold water and I'm going to hit OK. So now we have our connectors. From this, we want to physically edit our connectors. So in this option in here, um, we can right click and we can actually go to edit placement and um, it will take us into both connectors so we can change both of these and you'll see it's changed the screen and I have my placement options in here so I'm going to have my two connections for my inlet and outlet so to position this um, I'm actually just going to change the settings to start with so the connection type in here I'm going to actually say well this is flanged I'm going to give it its nominal connection sizes which is 65mm in this case and it's important to give it its connection position. So you can see there's a default position down here, that's not what I want, I physically want it on the centre point here. But note the direction, it needs to be facing out 
So once we've put the connection position in, we can go to the connection normal. If I click on the button, I can hook in, pick the insertion point, and I'm going to bring out my ortho. So it's out 90 degrees, like so. So you can see there's my connection. Now that's for my in, I need to change my out. So I'm going to go to connector 2. Again, I'm going to change the settings in here. So I'm going to make the nominal and diameter 65. I'm going to change my connection position. Again, just watching my snaps, I'm going to go into my settings. Take all these off and probably use the center of this circle. Which you can see here. And now I'm going to change my connection normal. Again, I can hook in to the center of the circle or I can physically pick up on this no point and drag out. So we can see we have our two, our inlet and our outlet for the physical pump itself. Always make sure to check your connections that you've got the correct details in here. Connection two, you can see I still have it undefined. I'm going to put that as flange. So it's always a good idea just to check your connection. When you're happy, hit OK and go to Next. Again, we can edit the properties in here. We're not going to do this in this case, but I'm just going to hit Finish and finish this detail out. So it doesn't actually convert that block there. I'm going to erase this. Now when I go to my Home tab, and if I'm looking for any equipment, and if I go to Pumps, it'll take me into my catalog. I will be able to select from my custom catalog as well. So what we can actually do, um, we can look at my custom pumps. There's my series 2000. I'm just going to put in a UCS of zero. You can see my logo. Cut from the website and give it a position. And then hit close. So that's my MV part. You can see the connection. Connection gives a little exclamation mark in there physically because it hasn't hooked in. So I'll actually select the device up, click on my connector, it'll bring the appropriate part out as well. So I've picked up in the 65 nominal flange and again it'll add the parts in. Again I can go to my opposite side, and go to my outlet, I can click on it, click on the plus and it'll take my pipe out. Pick up on that again, click on the plus and it'll take my pipe out. And again I don't have to do this in a 3D view, I can actually physically do this in plan. So you can see if I take this back to the top view, again you can see my pump details in there. So it's a very powerful way in AutoCAD MEP to actually take a manufactured component from a website and physically add intelligence to it. Um, much more intuitive, creating this as an MV block that you can actually use on your library of components. I'm David Gawley, thanks for listening.